Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's Cricut tutorial, I will show you what infusible ink is and how to use it. You have probably seen these infusible ink transfer sheets at the craft store. They're pretty neat because unlike vinyl, when you use infusible ink on your shirts, they are soft and you don't ever have to worry about them cracking or peeling off. It isn't like vinyl that sticks onto fabric. Instead, it uses your heat press to dye it. Today we will be using these Cricut infusible ink transfer sheets, which come ready to go in a huge selection of colors and patterns. The Cricut brand transfer sheets come in two different sizes. One is a 12 by 12, and the other is a four and a half by 12, which can be used nicely on the Cricut Joy. For the design I'm making today, the height ended up being four inches, so I'll use the smaller size for this project. You don't want your infusible ink sheets to get too much moisture or heat before you're ready to use them, so these will come in a heavy duty black plastic bag. When you take it out of the bag, you'll notice that the colors aren't very vibrant. But don't worry, when you stick it on your shirt, the heat from your heat press will activate it and brighten the colors up nicely. Cut out the amount of infusible ink that you need, then stick it to a green mat. Pop it into your Cricut, and remember to mirror the image so it cuts the design in reverse. Once the design is cut, there is an extra step that you need to do with infusible ink that you don't really need to do with any other material. Find the cut lines, and gently roll the paper so that you can hear a crack. You want to go around the whole design and crack and separate the design from the background. If you skip this step, you risk tearing your design when you try to weed it. Now I'm ready to pull off the background. Use your weeder tool to get any tricky section started. And once you have that, it's pretty easy to just pull off the background. I like to keep the design off of a mat when I do this in case I need to recrack any sections as I go. This design looks good and is ready to stick on the shirt. Put down a heat press mat or a towel, grab your shirt, and take a piece of thicker cardstock and fold it so it fits inside the shirt. This acts as a barrier between the front and the back of the shirt. Unlike vinyl, this is ink that we're putting on, and if you don't add some cardstock or parchment paper, there is a risk that the ink might seep through and go through the back of the shirt as well. Prep the shirt by using your heat press on it for about 15 seconds. Now you're ready to put on the design. Grab a ruler and make sure that it is centered. Then when you're happy with the placement, grab your heat press. For t-shirts, set your press at 385 degrees for 40 seconds. If you aren't sure what setting that you should be using for a specific material, you can go onto the Cricut website and refer to their heat guide for recommendations. For infusible ink, peel off the sheet while it's still warm to the touch. And this project is done. It is soft, and even when you stretch the fabric, the design stays right where you put it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.